Internet Reader here for another Taste and See moment. This is where we get to look into scripture and we get to understand how God uses different stories to teach us how to be satisfied in him spiritually and how the food that he's created for us will satisfy us physically. Sound like a, a very tasty experience for you? Yes, I hope so. Just a reminder, my word for this year is the word satisfied. And satisfied, it means to be content with an experience. And I am praying that each one of you watching have had the experience of accepting Christ as your Savior. And if you have not, then I pray that you either email me or call me right away. I don't want another moment to go by where you don't get to experience God's salvation. So being content and being satisfied is also about what has been given to you. Now this is really key when it comes to our food because man is always trying to change our foods into something, whoa, this is new, this is fantastic. Or it, the, the grocery store, as you notice, follows trends. You know, years ago we had the South Beach trend and all of the food said, ooh, South Beach, South Beach, South Beach. You know, and then we have paleo, ooh, paleo, paleo. Now we have keto. Keto, 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 you know, it's all over the grocery store. Or it's, hey, low carbs, low carbs, low carbs. Or it'll say gluten-free, gluten-free. Actually, that food never had gluten in it, but it's a selling point, so they put it on there. Or they will say um, low cholesterol or no cholesterol. Well, it didn't have cholesterol to begin with, but it's a selling point. When we are caught up in all of these flashy words, we're looking at packages that we probably shouldn't be buying in the first place. We need to learn to be satisfied in foods that God created for us. This is a, an extremely ripe avocado and it's kind of less its green tint, but we need to be content in what he's given us. Our trash cans should not be full of leftover containers, uh, restaurant containers and boxes, cans and all of that. It should just be peelings. It should be, you know, real food that you're consuming maybe even getting it from a farmer. Okay, so let's think about this. I also want you to look at your life as a Hallmark movie. Yeah, I know some of you will admit with me that we love Hallmark. Sometimes I get tired of it because like, wait a minute, that's the same story. We've already watched like 10 other ways with different characters. Um, I'm just happy that they're using real snow. Now, how many of you would agree with me? You're glad Hallmark is using real snow again. <laughs> Or they're changing the locations like, wait a minute, we already saw that house. It just had a different person on it. Um, so, so let's think about this. Hallmark movies catch our attention because we know it's going to have a happy ending. We know within, the, and actually my husband says within the first five minutes, okay, I already know who's going to marry who. <laughs> well, I'm going to share something with you. When it comes to Hallmark, the Hallmark script that God wants to write for you, I already know who loves you. I already know who's going to help they help you, who's going to comfort you, he's going to satisfy you. I already know who's going to be there when type life is rough. I already know who's going to not upset you. I already know who's going to deliver you, who's going to heal you, who's going to satisfy you. I already know because I already understand the Hallmark script for your life and it's because Jesus Christ has set us free. He has come to bring be our salvation. And if you don't understand this hallmark moment of your life, then you need to call me right away. You need to email me. So let's think about this. God has a hallmark story ready for you because he wants you to be satisfied in him. He's your script writer. Now just be willing to fill the role that he's written for you. So today I just want to share with you three steps to being satisfied. And the first step is the most important. You know, when, you, when someone is writing a script for a movie, they have to fulfill the roles, the leading roles of the story. Well, you are the leading role of your own Hallmark movie. So God wants you to invite him into your life, to ask him to be your Lord and Savior. That is step number one, to being satisfied. When you study the, Ruth, the story of Ruth and Boaz, Ruth, excuse me, Ruth trusted her mother-in-law and that led her to redemption through Boaz. And the redemption that Boaz brought is an example of our Savior purchasing us for an inheritance. It's so beautiful. Go back and read the story of Ruth and Boaz. 
So step number one is to accept the Lord as your Savior. Step number two is to delight yourself in the Lord. Don't be looking for substitutes when God has already got the script written for you. He's just saying, hey, Annette, I want to fulfill the script in your life. So when we delight in ourselves, our pride leads to sin. But when we delight in Him, we are, and when we delight in the Lord, our, we are satisfied in Him. Step number three is live with enthusiasm. Did you know in Greek, enthusiasm means God within. And it's hard to live in enthusiasm when we're depending on the world to satisfy us. And that's just the truth. Okay, so step number one, accept Jesus. Step number two, delight in him. Step number three, live with enthusiasm. That's what God desires to do in your life. And if, you, as I said, again and again, call me if you have not learned how to experience this. It's not a secret. It's clearly written in God's word. So this is today's taste and see moment to help you see how scripture, how food and scripture intimately coincide, how God uses food to draw people to him, how God uses food to change the circumstances so that people will look to him. This is Annette Reader, the Biblical Nutritionist. Check out my YouTube channel, subscribe to that. And most of all, be satisfied in what God is doing and how he's writing your own Hallmark script.